I posted a video a while back about how bears are tearing up young trees, they're ripping the bark off of them just to get a treat of the sweet sap and cambium underneath the bark, which kills the trees and in many cases they're wiping out entire stands of young trees, especially coast redwoods like these. They also do it to dug fir, grand fir, and other tree species. I'll put a link to that video after you watch this one you can watch that one to get a context of what we're talking about. I think it's okay to watch that one after this one. It's a problem that has started in recent decades and as bear populations are exploding in this part of the world, it's getting to a point to where reforestation is becoming almost impossible. After 10 or 20 years, when trees start to really start become productive, the bears just come through, wipe them all out. And unlike humans, bears don't do reforestation. They don't plant new trees to replace the ones they killed. In many cases, what would be a forest is just going to brushland because the bears kill all the trees. In that video I mentioned, I do have a hypothesis for something that may be contributing to this problem. Something that has changed in our west coast environment on a big scale that may be contributing to this problem. If you were to ask a child or even a lot of adults the question, what do bears eat? Their answer might be, honey, bears eat honey. I think that's a common belief, especially for those whose education about bears comes from sources like Winnie the Pooh. But the reality is honeybees are not native to North America. They were brought here by humans from Europe. Most North American bears have never tasted and never will taste honey. It's not part of their diet. Out in the wild there just aren't many sweet things for bears to eat. The American black bear eats a lot of grasses, plants, bugs, grubs, carrion, sometimes they do hunt a little bit. They're typically not big predators but they will do some hunting. They just go around scavenging whatever they can eat. And one of the sweetest things they have available to them is berries, which brings us to something that is over here. On the way to it, we'll go through what looks like some healthy Douglas fir trees, but will soon be dead. Trees can't live without bark on them. This is one thing that has dramatically changed in the western parts of Northern California, Southern Oregon, and I'm imagining Washington too, and that is this the highly invasive Himalayan blackberry, which is a very delicious problem, but it's a huge problem. The Himalayan blackberry, which actually comes from, I think, Armenia, somewhere over there. It was introduced because the berries are so tasty, but they have taken over massive amounts of the west coast. Places like this that used to be prairie, this one still has a little bit of prairie left, but it will be entirely taken over by these blackberries if somebody doesn't do something about it. It's a common story on the west coast. These berries have created a change to the bear's diet. Instead of spending the summers eating their normal foods, they spend the summer gorging on these sweet, tasty berries. We do have native berries that the bears do eat. It's part of their diet, but they're not like these big, plump, juicy, sugary berries that are so abundant that the bears are able to gluttonously gorge on all summer long. What does this have to do with the bears killing trees, wiping out entire young forests? This is just a hypothesis of mine. I don't have any evidence to back it up, but I'm wondering if these bears are gorging on these berries all summer long, eating massive amounts of sugar that's not a normal part of their diet, are they becoming sugar addicts, becoming addicted to sugar? It's happened with us humans. Sugar Large amounts of sugar was not a part of the human diet until we learned how to refine sugar as well as breed fruit into a more sugary fruit than it ever historically was. Sugar addiction is a big problem in humanity. Maybe the same thing is happening to the bears. Then when the berries are gone in the late fall into winter, they don't have a source of sugar. Not until the sap starts flowing in the trees in the spring, now they're tearing apart the trees to get their sugar fix. Again, this is just a hypothesis. I don't know that this is the case, but I think it would be interesting for someone to do a study to find out if there's a correlation between bears gorging on these blackberries and tearing up trees.